if you follow this thing, you may notice that there's been a great leap forward in progress on the painting, which is, uh, well, we had a couple secret sessions without a camera just to keep, you, know, you director was out of town on a music tour because he's, he's a renaissance guy who also does music gigs and we had to, to, to keep the paint fresh. You have to keep painting even if you, you know, you can't go more than a week. And we lost a whole week of shooting because uh, session 19's discussion became so contentious and emotionally fraught that we can never show that footage. Um, tonight we have a guest, Sierra, because it's boring to have the same two guys arguing with each other week after week. Also, when we argue, I tend to move around too much, and it's better if I say less. It's easier to, for Lance to uh, paint me. So uh, that is the whole deal. So let's start with the, uh, the, the topic that led to us not being able to show you the previous session, which is I claim that Trump might be a misogynist based on a deposition that, I mean, a bunch of reasons, but that uh, I think Donald Trump raped his first wife while they were married uh, because she said so in a deposition during their divorce. And the details of it make perfect sense to me because um, I have 13 sets of hair transplants. All this hair, the, the, the weird looking hair that I have on the front of my head was initially in the back of my head and it was moved. And back when Trump was married to Ivana, not Ivanka, but his first wife Ivana, um, there was a procedure for people who were losing their hair called a scalp reduction, where they take your bald spot and they take a banana shaped slice out of, your, out of the bald spot and they sew the sides together. And they quit doing those because it's painful as hell, and because it doesn't work, you go bald again, right back in the same place, and now you have a horrible scar down the, the center of your head. So Ivana said, testified that she referred Trump to a scalp reduction guy, and he came home from the scalp reduction all pissed off because it hurt like hell, as they do, and um, was super pissed at her because he's, she's the one who referred him to the surgeon, and he pulled her down by her hair, because it was a hair-related issue, and raped her. Um, so I think Trump is rapey. Uh, I personally can't respond to anything that was in a divorce papers. I mean, you know, people are known to say all kinds of things about their spouse, the person they're divorcing. There were billions of dollars at stake, and... Uh, because there were billions of dollars at stake, she retracted that later on. Well, so I'm supposed to believe that Trump is a rapist because of something that was said in a divorce case and then retracted? I, well, I for believe God's it, sake. I believe it because the, the, the detail of the scalp reduction just nails it for him. Well, could it be because she wanted more money out of the deal? So she decided not to say anything about it and just left it alone? I think so. Yeah, none, none of this is in any way convincing whatsoever. Nobody should ever make their mind up on who to vote for based on this crazy story. Uh, sorry. Well, hold, hold on, we're not saying who to vote for or not because... Um, Voting's I mean, already been done I mean, though. Well, you shouldn't, you shouldn't make up your mind on what kind of a person they are based on this story. This is crazy. I mean, if somebody said that about you or a friend of yours during a divorce proceedings, you'd be more charitable. This is just, this is just uh, completely irrelevant and, and un, what is it, un, un uh, substantiated? Sub it, well, it's, it's not, Robert? it's not, uh, here's it. All those things. It's just <laughs> bullshit. Okay? Yeah, well, I just think it's not bullshit based on that one telling detail of, 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 a, of a scalp reduction. 
Well, I, th I would love to, you know, everybody wants Trump to release his taxes. I want him to release the back of his head so we can see if he's got it. See if he's got it. And, and if, if there are scars on the back of his head, then we know he's a misogynist. Then we know the story's true. Well, it would help. That, yeah, it would. Yeah. It would help. Well, he might have to yeah. do that then. But, uh, I, if only I, could, someone could get close enough with a razor, I mean, you know. They, there was actually a lot of there was a lot of talk of seeing what uh, Bill Clinton's winkle looks like, because his his winkle came up in a lot of uh, rape cases. Yeah, he's got uh, some kind of mole or some kind. No, of... apparently it's um, a lot of the women that he raped testify that it's it's got an odd shape uh, and it's kind of curved. All right, so I have to the issue of consent and how much of it you know. If you're going to go out and say that Trump didn't uh -huh. rape Ivana, then right. you know, there, there's similar controversies about um, how consensual stuff with Clinton was. Well, there are also three women that uh, actually went to court because they claimed that he raped them. And uh, they, he actually pled, uh, he actually settled out of court with one of them. He didn't even go to court. He just paid her uh, uh, like almost a million dollars, I believe, to just go away. So if the, if there's a choice between Clinton being a rapist and uh, and Trump being a misogynist, I think I win this one. Uh, uh, I mean, yes, there was there was three cases, but. Um, There, but, but like you said, whether it was Clinton buying or paying her off, it's essentially the same thing as Trump paying off his wife to not say anything. No, we don't know why she retracted the story. Exactly, she but we don't know if that was legitimately a rape case she, either with Clinton. Well, she may have retracted the story because she knew she was lying. And as far as I'm concerned, there were three women, Juanita Broderick, uh, Let's see. Well, Jennifer Flowers, uh, Jennifer, had, a Jennifer long, Flowers had an affair. Consensual. That was consensual. Then, uh, then the one that they called they called her trailer trash. Uh, oh, I, I, I used to know the names of all yeah, three. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, but but trust me, there are three corroborated by my opponent, the liberal. There were three women that claimed to have been raped by Bill Clinton. So. Uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd say three women claiming, going to court claiming that they were raped uh, is more convincing than a divorce proceeding where a woman said that she was roughly handled. I don't know. I, I think you guys voted for a rapist and you voted for a rapist's wife who defended him through the rapes. How do you feel about that? Not the best, but... Uh... I think the people who voted for Trump voted for a guy who's... Uh, he's a hair puller. Apparently, he's a hair puller. Yeah, well, he's had some unsafe... You don't, you don't want to piss him off yeah. after he's gotten his hair reduction, his scalp reduction. That's one yeah. thing we can be sure of. 